Hey you guys, this is Nathan back with another video. Today I'm going to show you how to use the insert tab in Photoscape X and I have some examples here as well as some examples from some projects that I've recently done. So in the insert tab I was able to create this which were a few overlays for a video that I recently did about how to get your EIN number from the IRS. That's your employer identification number. So all I did was I added some text. I used a background on that text, I added the screenshot, and then I added a border around the screenshot. First, when you're in the editor and you're wanting to go over to the Insert tab, you'll just navigate over here to your right to Insert, and that'll open up this carousel where you're able to see all these different options. We'll start here with stickers. Stickers, you can go through here and there's tons of stickers and some of it's actually really helpful because these are nice high quality uh, clip art type stuff that you're able to insert into your uh, project. So you can find something like an American flag, you're able to increase the size of it using uh, these different points for resizing and then there's even a rotating where you're able to rotate it however you'd like and then over here on your right hand side are just all of the tools and fine details that you can mess with to really get the most out of your project like you can go to color and you can adjust the contrast of that specific image or that specific clip art inside your project you're able to adjust it however you'd like and make it just look exactly the way that you want it to look next you have images it'll open up this plan uh, tab where you're able to just insert your image or you can just drag and drop it from a files folder and it'll insert it in you're able to adjust it just like you normally would what's also nice is you're able to edit this image in individually without having to open it up in a separate Photoscape X tab so I can go over here to color hop in here just like we did with the other one and make those adjustments just on that image itself not the entire project just that image and then you're also able to go to mask mask is really neat because you're able to say hey I can remove certain parts of this image just right unfortunately they don't have a magic eraser or something where it can automatically detect one color and erase that but uh, that's what the cutout tab is for but if you need to do a quick little masking in your project you can do it like that or you can just hop over to the cutout tool and do it uh, normally and then just copy it and send it back to the editor so uh, those are that's adding images into your project it works really well and let's say you add in multiple images and you've got them kind of overlaid and you're like hey I want this one in front of the other what's nice is you have where you're able to send it back or send it forward it works out really well adding borders is super simple just play around in here and you'll find just what you're looking for as you mess around with it it's really really pretty simple next you have text text is super awesome because you can do a lot with it you know adding a pattern adding a gradient adding what colors you want it to go to like an orange to a red and you can adjust oh how do I want to rotate it how I want it to look just perfectly just a ton of flexibility in the edit um, editing ability with text making it such a great software for like making uh, different um, different artwork stuff like different graphics or like a uh, YouTube thumbnail or anything that needs to add text in here a lot of different fonts you have access to and you can install whatever fonts you want and it'll work inside Photoscape X and then you can also favorite what fonts you have so you always can have your favorited fonts right at your fingertips so that's really great for text then you have uh, figures this would be just different shapes that you can insert and when you insert the shape let's see yeah when you go to insert the shape in here you can change the color of it you can make some different adjustments to it um, just like you would anything else but also let's say you wanted to do things like drawing lines and stuff like that uh, you're able to draw like an arrow draw a line draw a square a square that has edges 
all sorts of stuff. And this is great because there's also some nice things with this where like for here with the arrow, you can adjust it and give yourself a curve. You can change if you want it dotted lines, if you want it curved with a few different points to it, you can adjust what kind of arrow you want at the end of it, which is really nice. Like if you were going to make a treasure map, that's what you'd use it for. You can make it them all rounded if you feel like that. Um, and change the thickness and the opacity, all that fun stuff. So that's really cool that you have just the freedom to make all of that all in um, the edit tab or in the insert tab here. Then there's a few other ones, which is magnifier and uh, filter. Uh, let me show you an easy way to show that. Let me go to open. We're just going to open an image here. Okay. So then what we can do is let's say we're in the insert tab and we want to do magnifier. What this does is it gives you kind of a magnifying glass for just a certain part of the image. Now what's interesting is you can grab this center point and go and put it over something and then it will, you know, do that zoom in just on that section. So like if you were going to try to draw attention to a certain point of the image, you can. There's also different kinds of um, outlines you can use which can be pretty cool. Um, but really, yeah, that's all it can do. It's just a magnifying glass that you're able to enlarge certain things, but it has to be the base of the image. That's why I had to go and add this image here, because if you just had a plain image of gray, then when you go to add the magnifying glass, it's not going to work because it's looking at the base image, uh, the base layer there. Um, so you might have to merge your layers if you're doing that. So it's kind of complicated, but yeah, the magnifier does work. You just have to have it as the base image. Um, and then for the filter, this is the same thing. It has to be the base image, but you're able to add in things like a blur. If it's like, oh man, I want to blur my identity. I don't want you guys to know who I am. You can put that in there, but yeah, it just has to be the base image. Let me explain what I mean by that just so it's not super confusing. Let's say you had some text here and it's like, oh yes, one, two, three, and I want to hide the one, two, three. Okay. If I go over with the blur, it blurs what's behind the one, two, three, but it doesn't blur the one, two, three. It's wanting to blur just the base image, the main first image. But if you were to use what's here on the left hand side, and go to merge all layers. Now this has been baked into the image. This is just a part of the image now since I hit the merge button. Then I can go to the blur and I can select this and then it blurs the numbers. There you go. Now if you're working in a project and you're like, oh, do I want to merge everything together? One thing that's nice is that if you ever want to merge just one thing, you can click on the item that you're wanting to merge. Click on it, right click and then go down to merge selected layers. That is going to merge just the layer that you have selected and then it merges it. So uh, that works out pretty well. This layers thing on the side is really nice because say you have a bunch of different things that you've added into a project. Over here, you're able to adjust where the layers are, where things show up. You can change it over here as well as so like moving forward, moving backwards. But sometimes it just makes it easier to see it over here. You're also able to turn it off as well. So you guys, that is the insert tab in Photoscape X. I hope that it was helpful. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments down below. And definitely check out my other tutorials. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you all in the next one.